Hola. Okay, I'm making some sopa de pideo. Mama used to um, make this all the time for us, and um, it's a real simple, um, easy to make. I think I've made some, but I've kind of stepped it up. But this is going to be even a simpler ingredient. And what she used to use was fideo, or and or I found this um, this angel hair, these nests of angel hair. And what you do is you basically saute the angel hair with some tomato, I mean some um, onions and some bell peppers and here I'll show you. So this is, I've, I've sauteed it with just a little bit of oil. See these are the little, eh, you can find that really easy. Really easy to make, it's delicious, it's flavorful. And I have some broth in there from leftover chicken that I made. And no, never throw out your broth. You always want to reserve your broth. And you basically saute the noodles with the, with the onions until they become completely caramelized. Ah, the smell is so good. And then I usually bring that to a boil. And basically I just julienne some onions. Make sure you wash your onions before you cut it. And then your bell pepper. So I just had a little bit of bell pepper onions and that's it. A really easy, simple to make. If you want to add some garlic to it, you can. I'll probably just put a little bit of garlic um, powder uh, on there. Or garlic um, seasoning. The secret is the basically what you want to do is keep in mind of your seasonings that you're putting in there. So... I like my stuff pretty flavorful. So I'm waiting, taking out my all my seasonings. And basically that's it. Okay, so you saute that. Make sure it's all sauteed. Yeah. And then you want to make sure your broth is nice and heated up. Not all my ingredients. If you want to add some bouillon to that, you can. If you want to add some tomato paste to that, which is what I'm going to do. Oops. Now remember, tomato is an umami, which ex escalates the flavor eight times more. So the tomato, I don't, I like using the tomato paste rather than the tomato sauce. But if you don't have tomato sauce and go ahead and use the tomato paste because it's it, it, I like it because there's a little bit of sweetness to it and so it kind of brings the flavors in and incorporates some sweetness okay and you just kind of stir that up in there and you just go ahead and add it Carefully. Turn that off. And this makes a really quick, like sopa, like a soup type. And then you add your flavors to it. I have just a little bit of granulated garlic. I should have put the fresh garlic in there, but I didn't do that. So I'll add a little bit of smoked paprika some comino. I love that cumin. Make sure you get your comino at a really good source and some pepper. And you just stir it. Yum. And that's pretty much you stir it until these noodles are not al dente. You want to make them nice and soft. So you have a nice little, if you want to do a cup of soup, a little appetizer, this is it. You take your spoon, you try it, mm. adjust the seasonings. <clears throat> if you want to add, um, if you want to add a meat to it, saute the meat and then go ahead and do this and then saute the noodles. Okay, so there you have it. 
We have a real quick sofa de fideo. A great appetizer. Something to keep you warm. If you want to add some other veggies, then go for it. And just make sure that your noodles are soft, your veggies are soft, soft, and then it's delicious. Okay.